Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you a little tip to uh, figure out your laser's cutting speed. This is a question I get in the comments a lot. How do you figure out what to set your laser to for cutting? So I've got a little file made up here uh, with a bunch of different cutting speeds and powers. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and figure out your laser. Uh, this is a 10 watt laser. So if you have something like this, these speeds should be pretty comparable to what you have. Um, one tip you might need is how to line up a little four by four inch square on your cutting surface. So uh, I have another video. I'll link that above. If you want to check that video out first, it'll show you how to dial in your laser exactly where you want it. We're going to hop into Lightburn. I'll show you how I made this file and we'll get started. Okay, so in Lightburn, we're going to grab the square tool. Just drag yourself a square or a rectangle, whatever you're working with. In my case, I'm going to set these dimensions to 100 by 100 millimeters. That's a four by four inch blank sheet of wood that I get on Amazon. So we're going to get the size right for the piece of wood you have. Then you want to grab your circle tool and just come drag yourself a nice little circle. I'm going to set these to a reasonable size. I want to fit nine of these on this square. So I'm going to go 25 by 25. Again, you can set it for whatever you're working with. Then we're just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it eight more times. You can hit paste or control V obviously. So I'm going to get this set up really quick. Okay, now once you've got all your circles kind of lined up on your square, we're going to go through each one and set a different cutting speed and power. So we're going to be setting these all as different layers. This is where we're going to do the speed. This is where you're going to select each layer. So we're going to start with this one. We're going to make sure it's a line. We're going to change the cutting power to 100. And we'll start with 500 for the speed on this one. Now we have to repeat this step for each and every one of these circles. So you're going to go down here, make this one layer two. Come up here and adjust your speed and power once again. I'm going to set the power to 100 for each and every one of these. On something as small as a 10 watt laser, you're going to have to use 100% power for cutting. It's more about dialing in the speed. So I'm going to set each and every layer um, about 25 millimeters per minute slower than the previous. So eventually it's going to work its way through. It's going to take more time on the cuts as it goes along. And when you find that sweet spot, it's just spending enough time on each cut that it goes all the way through. And that's going to be your cutting speed for that type of material. Okay, so now we have a different speed set for every circle. If you were paying more attention than me, you'll notice that I left two of these as a fill, so we need to go through and change that. We want to do line only. We're not looking to fill this circle. We're just looking to cut it out, so make them all lines. Preview the whole thing once again. As you can see, we're going to cut out each and every one of those circles. And after that, you should be good to go ahead and hit the start button and watch it cut. Okay, and now that the cut is done, you should be left with something like this. Now when you pick this up, some of these might fall away. You might have to give them a little help. So it looks like those two are a pretty clean cut. This one is a little tough. So uh, the problem with these little Amazon 4x4s, some of these have more glue in them than others. So sometimes you do get kind of inconsistent results, but that should give you a pretty good idea of what you need to set your laser to for cutting. So if you come over here to the file you can uh, compare you can see basically our, our only two clean cuts are these last two which are 250 at 100 and 225 at 90 percent power so um yeah that should give you a pretty good idea of what you need to set your laser to i left the air assist off for this video i have the air assist tucked over there but i wanted to give you kind of a more accurate idea of what you can cut right out of the gate with a 10 watt laser so i hope this video was helpful as always i'll put all the links in the description below i'll put the link to this file as well as some of my other files and uh, some of these amazon 4x4 blanks if you're interested so yeah once again uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time